Welcome to Embrace Yourself. My name is Kim and I'm a movement specialist passionate about joy, health, and happiness. I want each of us to discover our healthiest, happiest selves, but to do that, we have to get up and move. Now, last week I focused on food journaling because truly the most important thing to help us get up and move is what we are fueling our body with. I want you to look at the foods and beverages that you're consuming that are feeding or killing your gut microbiome. Now everyone is starting to hear the buzzwords of gut, gut microbiome and the reason I personally am passionate about it as well as health, movement, and fitness is because four years ago I was that person in a wheelchair because my gut microbiome was in complete distress. I'm a movement specialist and I was in a wheelchair physically unable to stand up and get up and move. You can imagine how humbling that was for me. I had to shift and completely eradicate things out of my diet and work to rebuild my gut microbiome. I never want a single soul to go through what I went through, which is why I'm asking you to make just a simple shift today. If we can start to move that needle just a hair, then maybe you'll start to create that roller coaster effect so that eventually you are moving and feeling your best possible self. So today, I'm gonna ask, if you haven't done your food journal, please do it. I know it's hard to look at the foods we're putting into our body, and even worse to admit that something we love is making us sick, but it's so important. Now, if you've done your food journal and you're starting to note those things that are bothering you, I want you to take one of them, just one, and try to eliminate that out of your diet over the next week. If none of you have done a food journal, or if you're not interested in food journaling, but you know that you're a person that consumes artificial sweeteners, I'm gonna ask you to make that change. I know sugar is getting hammered right now, but my number one devil is the artificial sweetener. I would never consume rat poison at any level, any quantity. And to me, artificial sweeteners are rat poison. So my clients know I always say everything in moderation, but rat poison. I'd love for you to try and take that artificial sweetener and get rid of it. Now, I know that's gonna to be tough because it's a highly addictive thing. Maybe just take one drink a day and try to start limiting the amount of artificial sweetener you're putting in your body. Ideally, I want it gone. And if you know you're a person that can quit cold turkey, go right ahead. I'm gonna be your number one cheerleader supporting you. But I'd love for you to get rid of that, see how you feel, and notice the change in your gut microbiome. You can go out and Google all you want, all of the research on what artificial sweeteners are doing to our gut microbiome, how they're killing us, how they're making us gain weight, all the various things that they do. So if you're one of those people that thinks that that's something you need in your diet, I'm gonna cheer you on to try and get rid of that in this 2019 epic year. So let's try this for today. Pick something, anything that you want to try and clean up in your diet. And then let's take note over the next week how you're feeling. Tomorrow, we're going to be back at movement. So get ready. And if you like this, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon. Make sure to like or comment. If you have any questions, I am here to help because I am so passionate about helping people feel their best possible self. I want to keep us moving for decades to come. So thanks again for joining and be ready to work out tomorrow. I'll see you then.